Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this video, I'm going to tell you some interesting features of iOS 26. Without wasting any time, we are going to start the video. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. Now talking about the first change after updating your device to iOS 26 is the new interface. Now you get glass like design everywhere. You get glass elements in uh, new app icons. You can check out the new control center over here. Even if you open any Apple application, for example, if I open uh, Apple Music, the uh, floating tab bar is changed and also you get a liquid glass design over here. Talking about notification center, there is again a change. You can check out the new iOS 26 wallpaper, uh, which has the glass like design time over here. Apart from that, if I swipe up like this, we get the new bouncy like animation. And again, if I open notification center slowly, you can check out how it is reacting with the background elements. So definitely we get glass like design everywhere talking about the next feature is the new 3d photo option in photos application now the interface is completely changed you get library and collection page over here and this is much more simplified compared to uh, the previous uh, photos app version now yeah talking about the new 3d photo uh, if you open any particular photo you get special scene option over here or special scene icon over here as soon as you tap on it uh, all it will do is it will scan the photo and it will convert a normal photo into 3d photo now if you don't want to uh, view it in 3d photo you can just simply tap on the special scene option and it will go back to normal now this 3d photo option is also available for lock screen and you can convert any normal wallpaper to 3d wallpaper using the special scene option on the lock screen customization now you do get new features with visual intelligence so as soon as you take screenshot in your iphone you get ask and search option uh, basically if you search for it uh, whatever is present on your screen it will show you the details for that. This is for search. Talking about ask, you can simply select ask option and you can ask chat GPT that what is uh, there in the image. You can continue it. Next thing is uh, like Android, if you circle anything like this, basically circle to search feature, whichever thing you circle, it will show you the results related to that particular thing and if you take screenshot of any particular event it will show you an option to add it to calendar as well so yeah there are some new features in visual intelligence now there is new feature in apple music and that is automix what it will do is uh, it will give you a dj like effect for the transition in two songs and also uh, on the lock screen itself uh, with one single tap you can uh, check out the album art in full screen if you don't want it in full screen again you can tap on it and it will go back to normal. Next is there are some few changes in uh, message application. First of all, you get new filters over here. So if you receive any message from unknown uh, sender, you can check it out in unknown sender over here. You can also turn off the uh, filtering if you don't want, if you want all your message to be visible in one screen, you can just simply go to manage filtering and you can turn it off. This is one thing talking about the uh, feature edition. If you go to group chats, now you can add poll over there so that's a new feature next thing is you can add backgrounds over here uh, in chats you can just simply go and select background you can add some live wallpapers over here or live background uh, you can use apple intelligence or image playground for creating a specific background for your chats and also you get multiple options over here if you go to color you can change the color for background so there are multiple uh, options present over here and the next thing is uh, if someone is typing the message, you do get typing indicator as well. Also, camera app has new interface. First of all, this is the new uh, camera app icon. If you select, you get simplified look. You can swipe at the bottom to check out other features. Uh, if you tap on photo, you get all settings or filters option related to that. If you go to video and again, if you tap on video, you get all the extra options for that. If you want to change the resolution, you can tap over here at the top. You can choose the resolution. You can change the frame rate in videos. And similarly, if you go to photos, and if you tap at the top, again, you can change the resolution and format for that photo. So no need to go to uh, camera settings in setting option. You can directly do some basic settings right here in the camera. app. Now, the next new feature is that you can set any song or music as ringtone in your iPhone. Just simply uh, download the tune or audio file to files application and go over there. Tap and hold on the audio file, tap on share. And if you tap on three dot, you get an option of use as ringtone. Now, the only thing you need to keep in mind is the audio file should be uh, up to 30 seconds, but not more than that. Okay, so the next change is in phone app. So first of all, take a look at the new interface of phone application. You can directly access favorite contact over here. If you want the old look, tap on three dash, 
and select classic to go back to old look. But I really love the new look because I can access things over here easily. And also like message application, you get filter option over here. If you get a call from unknown caller, uh, you can check that option in unknown callers. And if you want to turn off the filter, you can simply tap on manage filtering and you can go in settings. And over here, you can turn off unknown caller option. Now the new feature for phone application is call screening. You, if you select ask reason for calling option, what it will do is whenever you receive a call from unknown caller, your iPhone will automatically take their name and the reason for calling. And based on that, you can decide for yourself that if you want to pick the call or you want to decline it. Now there is a new feature in battery named as adaptive power. If you go to settings and then battery, you can check out the new uh, interface for battery. You can check out battery usage over here. But if you go down in power mode, you get a new option of adaptive power. Now what it does is whenever uh, your battery usage is higher than usual, iPhone can extend your battery life by making performance adjustments such as lowering display brightness, allowing some activities to take longer uh, or turning on low power mode at 20%. So if you want extra battery backup, then you can turn on the adaptive power feature. So yes, these are some new interesting features for iOS 26. I hope you like this video. If you do, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.